What's going on, YouTube people? Jimmy C. It's been a while. Uh, not many books to show, pretty much none, but I did pick up this beautiful cover. I, I've wanted this for two years. It's uh, Green Goblin. It's Dark Green Avengers cover, uh, issue number five, Mike Diodato. Uh, as you guys know, I love my Green Goblin, and I've just uh, I've sweated this cover for ages. The guy is on Comic Art Fans, and he's not on there too often. And he's uh, from the get go. He's wanted uh, two thousand bucks for it, which I thought was high back two years ago. But given the the inflation of the comic art world and uh, the prices things have been getting at auction, I'm like, you know what? The guy's not always on the email, so I'd only talk. I've only spoken to him about six times in two years because he just doesn't check his email or the email I know of. But one thing about him. He always stuck to that price. He would never come down and he never went up. Usually after a year, a few months to a year, when you go back to somebody, they raise the price in art. They constantly raise the price. So that was one thing I admired about him. I said, you know what? I need this piece because if I lose it, it's going to be lost forever. You know, that's the one if art, you know, if it's gone, it's gone. I said, you know what? I want it. So I said, I wrote him and uh, he finally surfaced and got back to me. Thank God, it's so funny how things work. I was about to buy uh, Superman number 30, a high-graded copy, 9-0, and it was a, it was a chunk of change. It, it was around 3200 bucks, and I really want it, but I didn't want to spend it, and I held off one extra day, and then this guy surfaced. Thank God, otherwise I wouldn't be able to buy this if I drop, if I drop three grand plus. So I, uh, I, saved, I saved 1200 bucks, and I got this awesome cover that I wanted forever. And it came from Singapore, too, man. I was like, my fingers were crossed. Oh, please. So, it's so beautiful. Uh, it's just Goblin. He just... Diodato just captures the essence of Maniacal Goblin. So, one thing about art. Uh, you always want pen... You want inks over pencil. So, I broke the corner rule. This is only pencils, but Diodato's pencils are super dark. It looks like it's inked. Um, but just for you uh, new guys out there, you always want to get inks over original pencils. It's just more desirable. Every once in a while, though, if there's something you have to have or you love, like me, I love the goblin art. You know, I got a lot of goblin covers, so this this was one of them I just had to have, despite no inks. But, you know, normally you want to stay away from just pencils. It's just not as desirable. A resale value, too. Um, so moving on, what else? Oh, you know, also, the reason I bought it is because I lost out on another Goblin cover that the guy wanted, uh, like, two years ago, he only wanted a thousand bucks, and I was just too cheap, I didn't want to buy it, and then I came back to him, uh, this year, and a week before, he sold the same cover for actually twenty five hundred. Meanwhile, I could have had it for a thousand, like, a year ago, and I was just too cheap, so, like, thank God I didn't love the cover, I, I liked it a lot, but I wasn't, like, it wasn't a must-have, and just being like a cover I liked, I was devastated that I lost out on it. It's all psychological. So this cover, I said, you know what? I will be devastated if I lose out on this. So let me just give him the 2000 Suck it up. I've been selling some stuff. And like, it's just if I lost out on this, I'd be miserable. So I said that, that was the deciding factor. All right, moving on. Um, I, find, I, I gave some stuff to Heritage, uh, some comics and some art. And I just wanted to go over my experience in case anyone's interested or thinking of doing it. So first off, Heritage, you need to give them at least $5,000 worth of goods. I gave them less, but it was only because my good buddy, who is like a big time player in the comic and art world, they're wooing him and they want him. And he's he's given them like a thousand slabs since I gave mine because he gave his also. Anyway, so I gave them about, I'd say $2,500 worth of stuff. I got destroyed. I pulled in 1300 bucks. It was miserable. Nothing, uh... So, it's taken... Uh, I gave them the stuff April 8th. They just had my, had the auction with my stuff on Father's Day, of course. Like, of all weekends, you stick my shit there. It might have been coincidence, but it just stinks either way. My Doom Patrol 99 Beast Boy 5.5 five, went for 70 bucks. That's like a travesty. Like, that's a $150 to $200 book any day. But then look at this, like uh, a Wonder Woman Volume Two, George Perez, 
went for $85. Here, here it is right there. Like, a random book that has nothing to do with anything, and it went for 85 bucks. Like, it just makes no sense. How does that book go more than a Beast Boy? Uh, my the, my uh, Silver Age Enchantress, Strange Adventures 187, that went for 110 Uh I basically broke even on that. And it was just... For the money I made... And I had to, plus, you know, I'm waiting, I'm waiting two months for the books to go on. Now I got to wait another 30 days to get paid. I should have just went to Anthony Snyder to his house, showed him everything. He would have gave me a check for 50, he would have gave me a check or cash for 1500 the same day. If I knew I was going to get this amount, this little amount, I would have made more money with him and I would have got it the same day. So, uh, there goes that. So I guess the moral of the story, unless you're selling big ticket comics or artwork, don't bother with the little stuff. You're going to get killed because people factor in the 20% VIG into what they pay. Um, so, you know, that's my story. It's not the end of the world. You live and you learn. I took a shot, but uh, I'm definitely not giving them anything else anytime soon. Maybe a big piece of artwork uh, down the road because they do get, they do have a lot of people. They do have the most customers, but for the small stuff, you're going to get killed on it. And that's just my take on it. Hope everyone's doing well. Everyone had a nice Father's Day last week. And that's it. Jimmy C signing off. I don't really have any uh, comics to show. Take care, everybody.